give you the adoration we bless in Jesus' name. For you are wonderful, O oh God. You are great, as I am, O oh God. You are highly magnified, O oh God. You are highly exalted, everlasting in Jesus' name. Who is that in the highest, O oh God? There shall never be one like you, O oh God. When you are greedy, Mother Maki, who are they? We worship you, dear Lord. We worship you, dear Lord. We Worship Jehovah. Worship your maker. He is King of Kings. Oh Lord, you are the land of the tribe of Judah for they reign forever and ever. Yeah. 
your knowledge and without your permission we declare again and again and again that power belongs to you as we are before the presence of the Lord I feel that we should make this prayer Bible says in the book of Ramentations, chapter number 3 and verse number 37. Please, if you can give it to us in NIV so that we are able to take up this prayer point. Bible says, who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it. There are many voices in the earth that speak against the lives of men, against the destinies of men, against the destinies of ministries. And they are not the voice of God. He's saying that who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it. About 15 years ago, 15, about 15 there years ago, there are people who in the Muru spoke many things and in fact it's about 20 years and the voice in the Muru was that I was dead and somebody brought the condolences home I was still alive I had not been sick but there were voices that were speaking and bringing condolences 
home to my parents. And these voices, they carry a lot of power because it is like a prophecy they are making. Then 10 years ago, the same kind of a thing happened. And they started speaking the same thing and planning my funeral. <laughs> But if God has not decreed it, it cannot happen. I want us to cancel every evil voice that has been released over your life, over your destinies, over your families, over this ministry. Because people will speak and people have spoken. The enemy speak. And it is our responsibility to counter every voice that speaks against us. You may not know, but in the spiritual realm, so many things happen. And eventually they manifest on the physical. So in this service, before we hear the word of God, I want us to go before God. The Bible says we have been given authority over all the powers of the enemy. And we are going to use that authority to silence every evil voice that is speaking against our individual life, our families, our marriages, our ministries, the work of our hands. And we are going to cancel all of them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to cancel every evil voice that is speaking against your life, that is speaking against your destiny, that is speaking against your success, that is speaking against your establishment, that is speaking against your family. Cancel those voices. Lift up your voice. I'm not hearing your voice. This is your responsibility. Every voice that is assigned to abort your destiny. Every voice that is assigned to stop your progress. To stop your success. To make sure that you amount to nothing. Silence those voices today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rako Pozika Bayata. Lepo Kotori Basia Kradaya. Lift up your voice and silence these voices in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice that is speaking against my life, I silence those voices in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against my destiny, I silence you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil voice that is speaking against my family, I silence it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil voice speaking against the work of my hands, I silence those voices in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil voice speaking against this ministry, I silence those voices in the mighty name of Jesus. Reko posika bayada, repo kotoro bo biasaya, repo kotoro bo posika. Every evil voice speaking against the progress of this ministry, I silence you now in the name of Jesus. Every evil voice speaking against the members of this church, I silence you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebo Shabbaseta, Rebo Kotorobobo, Makaraba Kataraba Basaya. Every voice of death in our lives, I silence you now 
in the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of death against my life, I silence you now, in the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of death in this ministry, I silence you now, in the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of death directed to the members of this ministry, I silence you now, in the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of death directed to my life, I silence you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of death directed to my family. I silence you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of death directed to the families of the members of this ministry. I silence you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of failure. I silence you now. In the name of Jesus, every voice of death. I silence you now. Jesus, every voice of shame, I silence you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rekopo Zakabaganada. Oh, Basharabakana. Oh, Basharabakana. Biko Yosaya Shapoyos. Thank you, Jesus. Rebo Shakara. Rebo Shakara. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take power and authority in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ over every evil voice speaking against our lives. We command every evil voice speaking against our lives to be silenced now in the mighty name of Jesus. We silence every evil voice speaking against our lives. We silence every evil voice speaking against our families in the mighty name of Jesus. We silence every evil voice speaking against our progress in the mighty name of Jesus. We silence every evil voice speaking against this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, be silenced in the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. We silence every evil voice yes. speaking against our marriages in the mighty name of Jesus. We silence every evil voice yes. speaking against our children yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. We silence every evil voice oh, yes. speaking against the work of our hands yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice of failure, yes. we silence you now. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. every voice of shame, yes. we silence you now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Yes. every Amen. voice of death, Amen. we silence you now. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. every voice of death in our families, oh, yes. we silence you now. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Evil voice oh, yes. concerning our families, yes. we silence every evil voice oh, yes. concerning our marriages, yes. we silence every evil voice Jesus. concerning this ministry, yes. we silence every evil voice Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Leposa Kabakladia, Remashaka Bayanda, Repokotila Masaya, Recapo Zekerina, Masoko Polila, Recapazaka Bayanda, we declare the voice of God will rule and reign in our lives. The voice of God will rule in our families. The voice of God will rule in the work of our hands. The voice of God will rule in this ministry. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Father, we pray for our nation, Kenya. Every evil voice speaking against this nation, we silence those voices in the mighty name of Jesus. And we command them to be silenced Amen. forever in Jesus' name. Yes, we Jesus. declare the voice of God yes. will rule and reign yes. in our nation, Kenya. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We ask you, Father, let the blood of Jesus speak in our lives. Let the blood of Jesus speak in our families. Let the blood of Jesus speak in our ministry. Let the blood of Jesus speak in our nation. Let the blood of Jesus speak in the atmosphere of our nation. Let the blood of Jesus speak in the soil of our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every other voice, let it be silenced today by the voice of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. Jesus mighty name we pray and we give thanks. Everybody shout a believing amen. amen. Let's celebrate the Lord. Hard in our nation and be hard in this ministry in Jesus name again put your hands together for God in the name of Jesus I want to thank our wonderful worship team for leading us today may God bless you even as you get back to your seat in the mighty name of Jesus I want to thank God for this time uh, and I want you to remain standing as I invite the man of God who is uh, ministering to us today and I believe that God will speak to our spirits and he will speak to our souls and even to our bodies through his word. We have together with us our brother uh, Simon Kamau who will be ministering to us today. Let us put our hands together as we welcome him to minister to us in Jesus name. Welcome you. Welcome sir in Jesus name. You may be seated. Buona asifiwe. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, my name is Simon. For those of us who will be viewing this on online, uh, because I know those of you who are in the house of God know my name. My name is Simon. I'm simply Simon. And I love the Lord. He's my Savior. And I am born again as I bring the word of God to you. And I know in the few minutes that are remaining, I won't keep you long. I want us to talk about the grace of God. And I know that God is going to bless us. God is going to bless us in a mighty way in the name of Jesus. I have prayed about this and I know that it will not be in vain that those of you that are viewing us online, you have tuned. Because this is, this is the place that we always say that you are not supposed to either tune in or come in. And leave the same way you came in. Because you have to meet Jesus in this place. Thank you, man of God, for having trust in me. I know you are an amazing man of God. And sometimes I don't believe it that I will stand here 
while you are seated there to listen to your children minister in the house of God. He must be a man and a half. He's an amazing man, and I know he's bringing up his children that uh, we are trying our level best to follow after his footsteps. And I know in the name of Jesus, we are going to be blessed because we have a man of God in the house. Can we clap for our man of God in the house? Thank you, man of God. Uh, thank you, Pastor Josephine. Thank you, Pastor Maturi. We have pastors in the house. And I just want to thank God for having allowed me to just share the word of God briefly to us, to the glory and honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to read the word of God in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 10. As we move on, I won't keep you. I won't keep you, so don't worry. In a few minutes, I'll be out of your way. And I know we will be blessed. We will be blessed. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians 15, 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. This is Paul speaking to God's people. And I want us today to talk about the grace of God because I want to believe that the grace of God is one of the things that in the life of a Christian must be evidence. It must be with us. We have to have the grace of God in our lives so that we may be able to do that which God has called us to do. And Paul was saying, and his grace towards me was not in vain. And I want to trust today that the grace of God upon our lives is not in vain. It has a work to do in our lives, in our families, in our church, in our ministry, and the grace of God is going to do what it's supposed to do to the glory and honor of our God. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Today I want us to talk about the grace of God because I believe that uh, it's one of the things that God has given us to help us to do those things that we couldn't do without the grace. I want to believe that Jesus came that we may be able to experience grace in a more wider way in the name of Jesus. Because in the beginning, the Bible tells us, there's a place we are going to read whereby Noah experienced the grace of God. But today as Jesus came, as you all know, before Jesus came, there was the, what we call the law of Moses. And the law of Moses, I don't know which clause, stated that I was to be paid by an eye. Your deeds were to be paid. If you are caught doing what is wrong, they would punish you right there. But Jesus came and brought us grace of God that we may be able to be cleansed. Today I want to tell us, the grace of God is what makes you sit there and listen to me patiently. You know, you don't have to like me to listen to me. But because of the grace of God, you listen to me and listen to the word of God. And I minister through the grace and the power of God. Because the grace is the power of God within us. The power of God that works within us. The grace makes me call somebody like Laurent my brother. And I initially love him like a brother, a real brother. Without the grace, I can't be able to relate with him like a brother. I relate with a person in the house of God like a sister because of the grace. Nehemiah Mungu. Bila Nehemiah Mungu, hutaweza kurelate na watu wote vile tunavyo relate in the house of God. So the grace is very important in the house of God. And without the grace of God, we wouldn't be who we are today as Paul says. For the grace was not in vain. Grace is the power of God working with, within us. And grace, people say, it is unmerited favor. You don't work to get the grace. It is given freely by God. But you have to have what you have to do to maintain it. So it is unmerited favor. And uh, 
grace of God impacts every aspect of God's dealings with humanity. Pasipo Nehema, without the grace of God, the way we relate with God, the way we do things in the kingdom of God, without the grace, it will be different. Because the grace is what, through the grace, and we are going to read that in Ephesians 2, 8 and verse 9. We are going to learn that we are, we, are, we are born again by the grace. For by grace you have been saved through faith. Grace and faith. And I'm going to show you how grace, love, faith is related. So I'm telling us that we are born by the grace. By the grace of God. The, those of us that were called Gentiles, today we are called the children of God by the grace of God. Since I'm about to lead to a Watoto wa mataifa. Sisi ambao tulikuwa wa inje. We are brought to the kingdom of God through the grace of God. Through the power of God that works within us. So, for without grace, there is no remission of sin. Pasipo nehema, hakuna mzamaha wa dhambi. Hakuna mzamaha wa dhambi. Yesu alipo kuja alisema ya kwamba, hakuja kuondoa mambo ambayo alikuwa wakati wa Musa. But I trust and I want to believe that without Jesus coming, kuenda binguni ingekuwa ngumu sana. Kwa sababu sheria za Musa, si watu wengi waliweza kutimiza. Si watu wengi waliweza. But Jesus came that he may bring grace to us, that we may be able to get the enabling power to do what is required of us in the kingdom of God. Those of us who are called Gentiles, today we are called the children of God, heirs and joint heirs with Christ Jesus through the grace of God. Through the grace, we are made heirs. Warithi, pamoja na Christo. The Bible tells us we rule and reign in the heavenries with our Lord Jesus Christ. So the grace is so important. We need at all times to pray to pray that we may be able to get grace upon our lives, that we may be able to do what is required of us because we can't be able to do it without the grace. So God, the Bible says in Exodus 34 and verse 6, 34 and verse 6, it says, and the Lord, and the Lord passed before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful, and gracious, long-suffering, and abounding in goodness and truth. There must be another translation that says something about the grace. God is compassionate, gracious. That is the one I'm looking for, but no problem. It is there, okay. Oh. So, I'm trying to say this. God is compassionate, gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in love and faithfulness. Mungu wetu, amejawa nehema. The Bible says, his mercies are made new every morning. But without the grace of God, the God we obey, the God we trust, and the God we wait upon, him without compassion and the grace, there wouldn't be any relationship between us. And as I told you earlier, grace of God impacts Every aspect of dealing of God with humanity. Yani mungu relationship yetu na yeye inapitia kwa nehema. Na pasipo nehema, mungu hangeweza kudil na sisi. And I'm going to show you that. Kwa sababu kuna wakati, dio noa aweza kuonyeshwa nehema, watu walikuwa wamepotoka sana. Na wakaza na the sons of God. Duniani. Na mungu wakasema mimi sita ngangana na binadamu nyakati zote. Na akasema ya kuamba, Noah found grace before the eyes of the Lord. So nataka ni kuambia ya kuamba, Nehema katika maisha yetu, katika kila jambu, katika wokovu, katika mienendo yetu, katika ji, ye, yesu, lazima tukue na nehema ya mungu. La, lazima we must have and obtain the grace of God to be able even to relate with each other. The grace, the, it's the grace of God that can be able to make a person from Uganda and come here and I call her a sister or from Tanzania or wheresoever. 
na nimuite dugu na dada na niweze kuishi na unajua ya kwamba jana usiku tulitoka kwa nyumba around saa tatu hivi na that's how i realized vile nehema inavyofanya kazi kwa sababu bila nehema hata wokovu itakuwa ngumu bila nehema hata kurelate mtu ambaye ameokoka na mwingine itakuwa ngumu bila nehema wewe imagine a bishop sit there na wewe uko hapo na unahubiri unatodoira tu na anakusikiza pasipo nehema na anasemaga ya kwamba our bishop says we are not grace mates and i agree with that totally kwa sababu yeye anaketi pale vile mzazi anakaaga chini anaangalia mtoto wake akifanya vitu koyote tu anamwangalia tu anajua kuhubiri vizuri sana and yet he allows me nikuje tu hapa ni nitetemeke na nimalize na anakuba pasipo neema pasipo neema kubali tu tukubaliane na ni ukweli pasipo neema ungeweza kukaa hapo pasta muturi unisikize ungesikia ni mimi nahubiri upite ile mlango lakini pakiwa na neema utanipenda tu kama dugu i was saying jana usiku tulitoka kwa nyumba nikapigiwa simu na rafiki ambaye mtakuja kujua tu mkijulishwa na tukatoka tukakimbia kwake na tukaenda usiku tulirudi kwa nyumba saa sita ya usiku ule jamaa ambao mimi na huyu tunaita dugu na tukafuatilia mambo yake sana na wiki rift tulikuwa nao wote hata aida tulikuwa nao ule jamaa tulikuwa tunashughulikia hata si wa kabila yetu lakini katika bwana hakuna kabila kwa sababu ingekuwa na makabila hata sisi hatungekuwa wa ufalme Uf, neema imetuleta katika Mungu kupitia tu neema hakuna kitu kingine neema neema tu tumenehemishwa we are graced to be called the children of god so as i'm saying neema tu ndio inafanya mimi niite dada yote katika nyumba ya bwana dada mimi wakati tulipokuwa tukiokoka mimi niko na kama 22 years kutoka niokoke wakati nilikuwa naokoka kuna vijana ambao singeweza kumaliza siku mbili kama sijawaona walikuwa ma brother wa karibu kuliko brother ambao nimezaliwa nao wacha nikwambie wewe ambao umeketi hapa wacha nikwambie wewe dugu na dada ambao umeketi katika nyumba hii wewe uko karibu na mimi kuliko my blood brother mwenye anaishi Mombasa ama mwenye anaishi Nyahururu wewe ninakupenda na ni ukweli kuliko yeye ukipata wana shida tutashughulika kuliko venye na... mimi naweza toka hapa niende nyahuru kwa ni kamshughulikie but all this ni kwa sababu ya neema kwa sababu kuna jambo ambalo ni muhimu ambalo ni neema neema ya Mungu tutamani kukuwa na neema ya Mungu neema ya Mungu itakufanya ukue compassionate towards one another ukue gracious ukue slow to anger nitakukosea nitaongea jambo usikie hii sikutaka huyu jamaa ongee hivyo na ameongea tu acha tu aongee na unisamehe utakuwa wa kusamehe haraka utakuwa wa kuachilia mambo haraka na tuendelee na kumpenda Mungu pamoja ni kwa sababu ya neema neema inafanya uite mtu dugu ambaye hata ujui alitoka wapi lakini Mungu anamleta katika ufalme na tunaendelea pamoja na tunaishi kama dugu na dada kwa hivyo neema ni ya maana sana grace Being gracious means to be considerate to show favor to show favor and that's what I'm talking about favor ukue na shida ni bebe huyo mzigo wako ni kama wangu tubebanie mizigo the early church walikuwa wanauza mashamba wanakuja kuishi mahali pamoja na hapo ndipo unapata Anania na Safira wanakufa katika madhabahu wale watu walikuwa na imani sana ivi kwamba ukipromise unaenda kuuza shamba yako ulete pesa kwa kanisa tukue tukikula kutoka mahali pamoja so jamaa akakuja kandanganya bibi sijui ni bibi alitangulia ama ni, ni mzee na wote wawili wakakufa na wakaondolewa neema ilikuwa imewashukia hivi kwamba wanaona Yesu atakuja hata hata maliza miaka mbili walikuwa naona atakuja hivi karibuni lakini yamekaa tumefikiwa sisi tuko na tunagojea kwenda biguni by grace hakuna bidii ya kazi ama nguvu itasimama mbele za Mungu pasipo neema kwa hivyo tutategemea nehema uweza kwenda binguni safari ya wokofu atutawezana nayo without the grace of god we need the grace all the time everywhere every minute we need the grace of god mungu ni mwema na najua ya kwamba katika nehema ya mungu tutaenda bali kanisa hii inahitaji nehema kuna watu ambao wanaongeaga their words with a lot of grace 
hiyo ndio naomba ni robi langu kunena kwetu hata manyumbani ukienda nyumbani mama ambuyu ukiongea na chichi wacha aone kuna maneno ambayo yako na grace there is what we even say aging gracefully mtu amegonga 70 years lakini bado unaona yeye ako mezimama, ako wima, amejipanga vizuri ukiangalia neema inaonekanaga neema unaweza iona katika tabia za mtu neema unaweza isikia katika maongeo ya mtu Me, neema utaiona katika matendo matendo venye tunashika jambo katika kanisa tukisikia kuna kitu venye utaona watu wamejitolea that will tell you whether this person has the grace of god or not and i want us to pray that lord will give us the grace in abundance that we may be able to live in harmony with one another nehema is the grace of god grace is love mercy and those three grace love and mercy are related and you can never operate in one and fail to involve the other that is the grace of god the love of god and the mercy of god you have to to have empathy with people you have to know the people of the household of god i know and i know i know, I, I know what i'm talking about siku hizi ndio unaona watu wameregea kidogo kwa neema unaona nitasikia jamaa fulani yako na jambo na nichukulie hilo ni lake ama maybe uh, 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 naanza kumjaji kidogo naona huyo jamaa labda ni kiboko anachapwa na Mungu Mungu hana viboko ya kuchapa watoto wake hako na neema ya kurejesha watoto wake katika ufalme na tukitumia neema tutapendana tutaishi kwa umoja na Mungu atatembea katika maisha yetu evidently like the first church walikuwa na ongezeka kila siku ni kwa sababu ya mbaya neema ambayo iliwashukia waliongea graceful ones nataka wewe uko hapa ni kutume kwa wale watu mnakutana kule nje wacha maneno yako yatoke na neema wacha kuongea kwako kujibeba kwako kuvaa kwako siku hizi kuna hizi tunaishi siku ambazo ni siku ambazo sio predictable wewe jua nini happen siku hizi juzi nilikuwa nasema tunaona rest in peace mingi kuliko happy birthday na kulipo i don't know hiyo imekuwa mingi sana na ninashindwa sana kutakuwa aji lakini nataka nikuhakikishie kwa neema tutasail through corona na haitatuangusha tutapitia kwa mashida mingi na hatutaanguka tuko na Mungu wa neema atatunehemesha na i know what i'm talking about mimi nakwambia wala watu nimesikia wamekufa of late hata nimeshangaa lakini sisi tutabakia wale ambao if you know and you know that you walk by faith and not by sight na kwambia ya kwamba neema itakudumisha wewe na familia yako na Mungu hata kuachilia corona ni kidogo sana tukiongea ukweli ni kubwa sana na ni ndogo sana tumepitiwa mambo mengi kuna jambo nataka nikwambie siku ya leo juzi nikiwa nikiona news nilisikia mwaka huu watu wamejiua 400 and i think and 83 Last year walijiua 93. Wewe ukikompea hiyo unaona kuna shida mahali. Mimi ninatembea sana natembeaga sana na kazi ninayofanya inafanya niongee na watu sana. Na ninajua kuna shida mahali. Najua ya kwamba shetani ameleta mambo magumu. Watu wamepoteza kazi. Watu wamepoteza livelihood. Na ndio sababu naona watu wanajinyonga. Lakini nataka nikwambie there is no reason enough ya kujifanya ujinyonge. Juzi nilikuwa naongea na jamaa mwingine pale Nederu. Ni Rivers gari kidogo tu hivi. Kumbe naye ameweka motorbike, nikapark na nikaingia kwa Kenneth hapo. Na yeye akakuja akapark pale nyuma. So nikitoka nikaangalia si kuona kitu. Mimi nikataka ku Rivers kidogo ndio niende. Nikagusha pikipiki yake na ikakuwa imegonga gari vibaya sana. Jamaa alichomoka anataka kuninyorosha. Na neema ya Mungu ikanisaidia. Neema ya Mungu pastor Mtuli najua ikanisaidia sana. Si nikamwambia tulia bwana. Bwana unaongea na fujo hivi. Kwani pikipiki nasikia uchungu? Si kwanza uichukue isimame. Mimi nilitulia tu na sikuwa na shida. Na nikaambia huyo jamaa acha nikufunze kitu leo. Nikamwambia by brother, eh, mimi nimeendesha pikipiki miaka tatu. Nilikuwa nimeajiriwa town, nikapatiwa pikipiki nilikuwa nakimbia baka airport kutuma tumu errors. Na so nikakuwa hiyo miaka tatu na kitu nusu sikuwahi kuruzwa hata mara moja. My wife can bear witness, anaweza kunibea witness. Sikuwahi kuruzwa hata siku moja. Na hiyo pikipiki ilikuwa inaenda na speed baka ya mia. Nikaambia huyo jamaa acha nikufunze kitu. Usiwahi, unaona venye mnakimbilia kuchoma magari za watu. Wewe usikubali kufanya hivyo. Wewe ukiambia watu 
ni, sasa tumemalizana nimemwambia pikipiki kwani nasikia ujungu ni nini inakuzumbua ku, ina unakuja kuniletea fujo ukikisikia ujungu niambie tuikibize hospitali kwanza nikamwambia mimi siku na pikipiki na hata gari yangu sio imeumia si kutaka kuumiza pikipiki yako nikwambie kitu e, mimi watu wa pikipiki ningewapata mahali pamoja kwa wingi ningewaambia usiwahi choma kitu ambayo huwezi kununua na usiwahi ua kama huwezi leta uhai na usiwahi ondoa ile kitu huwezi leta nikamwambia fanya hivi kutoka leo huko ukihubiria watu hivi mtu hata kikongwa na pikipiki hakuna mtu anatoka kwake kwa nyumba na gari anasema leo ile pikipiki nitapata nitakonga hiyo jamani umize miguu hakuna mtu anakuwa amesema hivyo ni kweli so jamaa tukawaachana tumesikizana nikamuuliza unataka pesa ngapi akaniambia nikamwambia sasa mimi nitaenda kujitengenezea yangu na ungerizo ni vizuri hata sikujua ni kwa nini nilikuwa nanirukia kwa sababu hata mimi nitapeleka yangu garage na yangu itakula pesa mingi hata kuliko yako lakini yako si mimi nimekupea siku nyingine mkiona umetendewa kitu usikuwe hivyo mimi leo nimesikia mambo kuna jamaa mwingine tunafanya kazi naye ameniambia kazi yake alianguka na moto baiki jana amekimbizwa kibizwa kufika Kenya hata akakufa mpaka nikamuuliza kwani hii pikipiki natoka China wanakuwa wameiobea ama ni nini wanakuwa wametoa kafara nazo ama ni nini nikamwambia inahitajika ina sana tuobe watu lakini neema iko neema iko ya kutudumisha neema ya Mungu iko na itapelekana na sisi na tutabarikiwa pamoja ni kwa sababu Mungu ako pamoja nasi kuna watu wachache ambao waliweza ku experience neema ya Mungu na mmoja alikuwa Noa wacha tusome Genesis 6 and verse 8 kwa haraka kwa sababu masaa yetu imeenda sana masaa yetu imeenda sana This is Genesis 6 and verse 8. Genesis 6 and verse, verse 8. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Hapo mbeleni sitaki tusome sana kwa sababu najua muda. Hapo mwanzo Biblia ilikuwa inasema watu duniani walipotoka katika jia za Mungu na akafika mahali akahudhika na watu na akauliza how long nitangana na binadamu lakini akasema atamaliza watu dunia nzima kulikuwa na majitu si nilikuwa nafikiria ni mchezo there were giants hapa duniani na kumbe walitoka from the sons of god walipozaa na wasichana wa binadamu na so noah found favor before the eyes of god naona muda wetu umeenda sana kuna jamaa mwingine ambao anaitwa Cain Cain alipata favor ya Mungu ambapo mimi Sunday school venye nilifuzwa niliambiwa kuna Cain nikaambiwa kuna mudhae shaitu na sijui nani mwingine lakini ukweli ni kwamba siko nimesoma siko nimejisomea ukweli ni hivi Mungu wetu ako hivi wacha nikwambie jambo siku ya leo wacha nikwambie jambo ambao ni I've, I've done study na nimejua Mungu si tumeambiwa anasamehe ana haraka he is true to anger anaongea na Kaini anamuuliza ako, ako wapi dugu yako Abel na Kaini akaongea vibaya akataka ni kama anataka kushinura Mungu akamwambia kwani mimi ndio nawekaga Abel na Mungu si anajua kila kitu Mungu akamwambia mimi nasikia damu yake inalia ikiniita na hiyo mchanga imepanua mdomo kumeza damu ya dugu yako mimi nimeilaani it will never produce anything to you Kain akaambiwa hivyo lakini Kain akaanza conversation na Mungu hapo hapo akamwambia Mungu hii muzigo wangu nimesikia ni mzito sana na najua itakuwa ngumu mimi kuubeba na Mungu hapo hapo akaanza kuogea na Kain. Akamwambia, "Nimekuweka alama. Na mtu ambaye atakuua wewe atalipishwa mara saba." Si unaona Mungu amegeuka. Alikuwa na laani jamaa na amegeuka mara moja. Akapewa akapewa alipewa a spirit of vagabond na roho zingine hapo. Hatutasoma saa hii kwa sababu ya muda. Lakini kweli ni kwamba akapewa roho hiyo ya kuzurura. Na shangaa siku hizi unaweza pata mtu kwa kanisa ako na that spirit of vagabond spirit anatoka kwa hii kanisa anaingia kwa ile anakaa siku kadhaa anatoka kwa hiyo anaenda kwa ingine kumbe roho wa kaini ukushika kaini ulishika watu wengine wako nyuma ya kaini kwa sababu kaini mwenyewe hakuacha nikwambie tukiteremka hapo chini wakianza hiyo conversation na Mungu akamwambia ule mtu atakuwa atalipishwa atalipishwa seven times kwa hivyo ukiwa kaini sijui utatoa wapi vifo saba ya kukufa kwa hivyo lazima utauliwa kaini akawekwa mark na Mungu acha nikwambie hutaenda bari sana a couple of verses Kaini anasemekana kazaa kijana akamname after a city that he built. Does he look like a cast man? So sikambi hakuna wacha nikwambie leo. Hakuna sababu. There is no reason enough ya wewe kutoa uhai wako kwa sababu uwezi jipatie uhai. Watu siku hizi wamejiua, watu siku hizi wamekufa moyo, wamevunjika moyo. Nyinyi sisi tuko hapa. There was a time nilikuwa chini sana 
chini kabisa nasikia kimuziko nimebeba kimuziko unajua kuna siku unasikiaga kila kazi unafanya ni kama muziko kila kitu unafanya usikii ukiwa sawa unasikia umekaliwa ni kama hata ukiketi kwa nyumba hivi ni kama kuanguka unaanguka kwa kiti nilichukua simu na nikapigia utumishi wa Mungu tukaongea na yeye na usiulize ni nani na hako kwa hii nyumba tukaongea na yeye tuliongea dakika moja na ishirini. Mimi nikitoka kwa hiyo kiti ya ofisi ya kwangu nilisikia ni kama muzigo imetolewa imewekwa chini. Nakwambia hivi kwa nini? Ni kwa sababu nataka ukiona mambo imekuwa ngumu sana wewe ambaye unanisikiza kwa online. Tafadhali kutoa uhai haitasaidia. Hao watu wengi wamejiua. Acha nikwambie sisi tuko hapa tuko je Mungu hapa. Kwa sababu kule kwingine kunaenda tunajua. Na tena ukitoa uhai wako una uhakika gani utaenda binguni utaenda binguni ya nani? Mungu akupea uhai na wewe utoe uende binguni yake hiyo hata kuwa just. Mungu ametunehemesha tutafute watu tuongee nao kama mimi nilipona mimi nilikuwa nataka kubuku au hatu counselors twende tu lakini Mungu akanipea counselor kumbe counselors wako hapa tuongee mtu na mwingine ongea na mama Irene kama wewe ni msichana mdogo ongea na pastor Josephine hata kusaidia sisi ni watu wa nyumba moja wa nehema tumefanyika familia wa nehema kupitia grace of god we are one family We are one family at a god. Na tunajua ya kwamba tutabarikiwa na tutaenda vizuri. Mimi sitaki kuendelea sana kwa sababu ya munda. Ah, oh, na najua Mungu ni mwema. Grace inatusaidia kupigana na sin, inatusaidia to cultivate our salvation na itatufikisha biguni. Grace of God, that is the grace of God. Grace inatusaidia loving people of God and living like god wanted tunaishi pamoja kama familia tunapendana we care for each other we share with others ni kwa sababu ya grace we forgive so quickly na tunaendelea na maisha romans 5:17 nasema jesus brought great grace kuna ephesians 4:7 the grace was upon jesus so grace grace is mentioned so many times na grace inapeanwa according to the measure of the gifts that's why the man of god says we are not grace mates so utafanya bidii utafanya bidii kupandisha grace yako kama unaona kuna jambo ambalo linakusumbua oh, but grace upon that kenye inakusumbuaga na to maintain grace unafaa you surrender to god and you will be able to maintain the grace of god upon your life you sacrifice and forgive easily serve with compassion Be thankful because of that grace. Be a blessing to other people. And therefore be strong. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. Therefore be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Sitaki kuenda zaidi hapo nataka tuweze kusimama na miguu yetu na naomba ya kwamba Mungu atatupea neema and I want to call the bishop so that he may pray for us tuweze kupata nehema masaa yetu imeenda sana karibu sana bishop na i'm grateful amen amen thank you thank you ni makofi mazuri anapokuja amen let us give up the brother simon a better hand than that one in jesus name yes amen it is by grace that we are alive today You know that scripture that he read in the beginning Paul is saying the way you see me it is by the grace of God if you remember who Paul was he was a murderer he was a persecutor of the church but he became the chief apostle why by the reason of grace No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, grace has the power to mold you and make you become what God wants you to become. One of the things that I have seen with Paul, all his letters that he wrote, he finishes the letters with may the grace of God be with you. Why? Because he knows that is only by the grace of god that you can be made it is only by the grace of god that you can become so grace is very important 
all of us are the way we are because God has been gracious to each one of us. And he, even what we shall become, it is by grace. Let's put our hands together for him again for a job well done. And I see that we are raising sons in, in a mega way now. And one of these days, me and Pastor Ben, we, maybe we go on leave. We go to Dubai and we leave them to continue. Amen. Uh, we have together with us the man of God, uh, Pastor Getao of Erohim Church. He's been together with us as uh, the man of God was preaching. So please make sure that you give him a microphone. We want him to greet us and to take the offerings the way we do it. There are people online. There will be a pay bill number. And these are the ones they can bring here in front. So, sir, I welcome you to greet us, to pray for us. You can pass here. There is no problem. There is no problem. Hallelujah. Karibu sana. And then pray for us. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Well, it has been a while since I was here, but I thank God for the grace. The grace keeps us, it sustains us, and it helps us to move forward. And uh, grace is like a trolley that when you are coming from airport, you put all your luggage on that trolley to make it easy for you to carry all what you have. In the same case, we put everything on the grace that it may help us to carry all what we are carrying on us. The ministry, the family, the businesses, and everything that we carry it is only by the grace. Praise the Lord. And that singer who sang and said, and the grace will help us to alive well. You will make it by the grace. You will get there by the grace of God. The grace of God will keep you. The grace of God will help you. It will sustain you. It will help you to go all the way to the end. Praise the Lord. We are well at Elohim. God is helping us. Praise the Lord. God is helping us. He's taking, us, he's taking care of us. And we are so grateful. We love this ministry. We love this couple. They are very dear to us. And thank you. I, I was somehow confused. I was where I was, I was in between. Coming or staying, coming or staying. But I had to tell myself, when you go, it is much better than staying. So I had to come. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mm, and I am here today. I love to give surprises. And uh, there was a day I came and surprised myself. And today I promised myself I'll not surprise myself. So it is a good surprise for all of us. Praise the name of Jesus. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep on enlarging you. Enlarge your territories. Fight your battles. Give you the desires of your hearts. And uh, may you live to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. You are blessed and cannot be otherwise. Praise the name of the Lord. So, and we want to give. We want to worship God with our giving. And God will take the glory. Praise the Lord. And I, st I believe that all of us will become partakers of what God is doing. Them that are back at home and even them that are here, it is giving time. In Elohim Church, we say it is a blessing time. Because when you give, you are attracting your blessings. You are provoking God to do something into your life. You are worshipping God with what he has given you. Praise the Lord. But let me read you a very scaring scripture here. Even as we give, but it's a blessing for all of us. It is in Numbers chapter 9. The Bible says, verse 13, But those who neglect to celebrate the Passover at the regular time, even though they are ceremonially clean, 
and not away on a trip will be cut off will be cut off from the community of Israel if they fail to present the Lord's offering at the proper time at the proper time so they will suffer the consequences of their guilt this is the word of God so if you don't give your offering at the proper time you will suffer some consequences here eh? number one you'll be cut off from the generation of God so those who keep their offerings away they 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 they, they they are welcoming their rejection. They are welcoming their separation and isolation because they are not offering their offerings and also offering it at the proper time. I believe today is the proper time that we can give our offering. Even you, you are at home. This is the proper time that you can give your offering. And don't just give. Give the best. Yeah, give the best because God has given you the best. So you can worship God with the numbers on the screen there, the, the pay bill number, on the screen the account number. You can worship God with your giving and it will be a blessing to all of us. So can we pray now for our, of our offerings? Yes, Father, we thank you so much that you are a good God. We want to appreciate you for the gifts that you have given us. And mostly God, the gift of life that you have given each one of us. We say, thank you, Lord. And today, Lord, we come to worship you. We thank you that you have graced us to gather in your presence. And Lord, you graced us even in from morning that God, we could go to our busy schedules of the day. And God, you gather us in your house today. I pray in the name of Jesus, the giving grace will work for your people today. In the name of Jesus, I release this giving grace to them that are here in your house, O oh God, and them that are back at home, wherever they are. Lord, I pray today, in the name of Jesus, let the giving grace locate them and change their story. Let the grace of God reach wherever you are and give you breakthroughs and give you connections and give you favor and give you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare none of us will go empty-handed as we worship you with our gifts today. Take all the glory. Take all the praise for you are good God. I release the blessings of God that makes one rich and they are no sorrows. In the name of Jesus, the grace and the blessing that empowers men to succeed in business, to succeed in their families, to succeed in the ministry and into whatever they do. Lord, I release those blessings now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare a lifting, I declare a, a shift in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, take the glory as you do your people good because you have intentions of doing us good. Do it to take God that you may take the glory and take the praise in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So we can worship God with our offerings here. If you are back at home, you know what to do or wherever you are, may the Lord bless you and do you good. Amen. I'm done. Yes, and we are finishing with